Hello, um, today I will texture this outfit together with you guys and I will also show you real quick how I make my signature super puffy, super oversized outfits. So for this we just start with a simple base and all I do is now just to um, create some internal lines. They can be everywhere, they can be just two, they can be a lot of just try what looks good in the end. And the trick with this is that we set all these internal lines to elastic and cut and sew so we can set different textures and then we select all patterns and set the shrinkage warp and weft to like 180 or 200 percent. Here you can see it again we do the same on the pants, drawing the internal lines, make them elastic, cut and sew them and then um, set the shrink shrinkage weft and warp to 180. So yeah, this is basically how I do my signature puffer looks. And the best thing now is we cut and sew everything. So we got um, like different pattern pieces and we can texture them all differently to get a really cool look. And here I start with the first. I wanted to make a metal one. So I just changed the fabric type to metal and we will add a normal map now. So it looks much more um, realistic and I choose this one. And what we do is now we open um, the texture editor so we can scale our normal map. We click on that, click on tile and scale it down until we like the look. Exactly, and after this I just um, decided where I want the metal to be placed on which pattern pieces. Then we go to the second one. I change the fabric type to leather and just choose a color. And now it's like the same process. We pick a normal map, like a leather one. And decided where we want to place this fabric. And again, we open the texture editor, click on our normal map select tile and scale it a bit down and we increase for sure the intensity of the normal map so it looks much more realistic then we do the main part of our fabric for this one i changed the color after that i also picked again a normal map same process tile scale it down and increase the intensity so for the last um, fabric i wanted to make um, a print so I just selected which part should be the print and then we will switch to mid-journey to AI generated a print for us. And for this I just type in imagine and then you can choose a prompt so it gets a really good print. So for this one I just choose a flower print in the style of Gucci but I want it to be very modern and I said it should be in dark red and off-white. And important is to type in tile so it's irrepeatable. So we decided for the first one, we upscale it and save it on our computer. Then we go back to Clo and choose it as a base color map. Then you can scale it like you want the desired look. I scale it a bit down so I can see the flowers more. And what we do again now is a normal map, but we don't want to pick now one from my library. We use the feature from Clo with the PBR map generator and click here on this little icon and it would automatically generate a normal map for us from the print. And what we do now is we click tile again and scale it down. We want um, the proportions to be differently from our base color map, so we get this effect here. And yeah, perfect. And the last thing we do is we want the print to have to be the same color as our main fabric. So we open the texture editor, click on our print. It looks nearly the same, but it, we want to be exact the same. We activate the color switch, type in the number of colors we have. I guess it's just like three. We pick the color we want to change and change the color to the 
color of the main fabric. Then we hit apply and close so it can be safe and the texturing is um, done. It looks good. We just want to select all, change the particle distance to 5 so we get a smoother look. And yeah, that's the whole, this is the whole process of how I, I texture in Glow. It's mostly like I do everything in Glow, maybe just generate a print with Midjourney. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I hope this helped a lot and yeah, bye. <laughs>